Well, hello everybody and welcome to today's Minecraft plugin tutorial series in which I'm going to be teaching you custom events. Now, we do have a basic video about bucket events, meaning if you were coding a plugin, you're listening to events such as block break event or player join event. However, today we're actually going to be using bucket api to create our own custom events as minecraft developers so before we get going i will be using the existing code that i already have namely crawling there is a full video that i made based on this subject just a few videos ago you can check it out if you look it up in this plugin tutorial playlist and also, please note that this video requires you to have basic Java knowledge as well as basic bucket coding knowledge. If you lack both, you can learn it, you know, by try and error and wasting a bunch of time, or you can sign up for professional courses such as Project Orion, which is a full seven week coding course. Plus, it gives you JetBrains premium license. Plus, there's live Zoom coaching. Plus, of course, there's 30 day money back guarantee. I will leave a link to it in the description. Now, moving forward, what are custom events? Basically, these are simply game mechanisms that are being called and then other developers, including you in your own plugin, can simply listen to them and then edit different mechanics in your own plugin. I'm looking at the Creating Custom Events article from the official Bucket Wikipedia, which is a bunch of a couple of years old, but we're going to be using it regardless because it provides a template for a custom event. So I'm just going to copy everything. You don't have to copy. There isn't really much to it. There, All there is to it is a simple private static final field called handlers list. And then you have to create a public get handlers as well as a static method that returns the same. The reason for this, every single custom event class has to have this. And the reason for this is that the handler list actually registers your listener so that there can be multiple plugins listening to the same event. And then that event can access the handlers, which is you as the plugin owner, and can bucket then can fire events really, really quickly. And it says here the this field being an array is the key to this system speed. And then this entire system is based on some other guys f events whatever that means so you know as newton said like the the reason that you know he sees further is because he's standing on the shoulders of giants bucket also builds on a proven system and uh they achieved you know peak performance with their event system this way so don't worry this is just a small thing that every single one of your class needs to have let me just grab the entire custom event example let me create a new package here it is a good practice to have the package called api so that other developers can clearly see that there is an api and then I'll just rename this to say crawl event and then I'll leave the handlers right here and I'm, I'm going to be putting a player that is crawling right here and then I'll just change the constructor as well there we go and instead of get message there is going to be get player and I believe we can also set the player and I'll show you how that works later on and then we're just going to keep these two here. Good. So this is how you create a custom event. There isn't much to it. Now, how do you actually fire? How do you launch this event so that other plugins can take advantage of it? Well, we can go inside the crawl class right here. And then no, we can actually maybe go into our crawl command. And then before you invoke this, or maybe even, yeah, maybe even inside right here, it says start. So that makes more sense. So when you call the start, we can go to bucket get plugin manager and then call event and then here we can simply pass in new crawl event for the given player however i'd like also this player to be customized so that i can just externalize this field crawl event event equals to new and then instead of using the player that is provided right here, I'll simply use event that get player because here come, here come the other plugins, right? And other plugins can then call event that set player when they listen to this event. And, and so we have to return the value from the event itself. This is common mistake a lot of developers make, and then they make it impossible for other people to edit things as they originally intended. So that's for one. Now, if you want to cancel this event, then all you have to do is implement cancelable. It's a simple interface, and then it requires you to have a private boolean cancelled like this one, as well as set cancelled and is cancelled methods. Very simple. And then all we have to do is simply check if 
the event is not cancelled then only then we're just going to be actually starting to crawl which is really nice now i'm going to give you a quick demo on how to listen to this event we can go inside our any listener package and then we can go inside say say i'll just make a new one for player listener there we go and i'll also register it in the main plugins class as always there we go that's quite easy and now all we have to do is use the exact same system that you would when you're listening to any other event for example player join event right instead of this however i'll just put my own event right here and then yeah i can get the player and i can send them the message you're crawling and you'll see how that works in a moment. Let me just add some colors right here. And actually the last video that I made, we've added a custom method to add colors easily. So now I can simply take advantage of this. If you don't have this, all you have to do is just call chat color that translate alternative color codes place this right here then type comma and then do the exact same as I do. However, you know, I just made a I just made a common utility for that. And you can also cancel the event. Set cancelled. That means that the player won't be able to crawl. You know, you guys understand the basics of events by this point. And now in the game, if I type crawl, you can see it will send me the message you're crawling. So everything works as it's supposed to. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to learn more about Minecraft plugin development, making amazing servers, even building mini games and selling these plugins, check out Project Orient. The link is in the description. And I see you guys next time.